We're not supposed to judge. The Lord Jesus says, judge not lest you be judged. But, oh, we're supposed to be discerning. That's what we hear in the gospel today. You will know them by their fruits. And we do need to discern certain things and, and, and even certain people. You know, what, what kind of school or what school are you going to send your kids to? What church are you going to go to? You know, what pastor are you going to listen to? You know, who, who's, whose books or talks do you, are you going to go out of your way to pay attention to? And, you know, what people are you going to avoid? I mean, that's, that's discernment. And that's basic wisdom. And you could even say basic spiritual survival. You know, there's people, I read their books, I listen to their talks. Oh, they're so inspiring. They set a fire in my heart. I love it. You know, they, they help keep me going. And again, this is, this is basic human and spiritual wisdom, being able to discern right from wrong. People who are bearing good fruit and people who kind of don't seem, doesn't seem to be any fruit at all, or if there is fruit, it seems to be bad fruit. You know, to be able to discern that, very important is key. Now the thing is, again, we're, it's true, we're not supposed to judge the motives of a person's heart. You've all discovered, I'm sure, and you know, sometimes they get reminded of this, you know, sometimes people who, I don't know what, you know, they're kind of a public sinner, might life totally messed up, getting into all kinds of, I don't know what, perversions or awful stuff. Sometimes you hear the story of their child and upbringing, it's horrific. And you think to yourself, this person doesn't need judgment. He or she needs mercy. Amen? You meet people like that and you think to yourself, the last person, the, the last thing this person needs is being judged. The person needs to be told. If you, if you knew how much God loves you, you, you would, you'd be so happy and, and, and you're, you're precious in God's eyes. You know? And so again, it is, it's so important not to judge people, but still to be discerning. You know? and, and you could say especially as it pertains to our children, you know, parents, oh, you have a duty, an obligation before God to make sure that your children, you know, are properly cared for and not subjected to bad things. Okay, now, that's kind of at the macro level. So many things in life, you got, you got stuff at the macro level, the huge, the big, and then you have kind of a parallel at the micro level, all right? And, you know, in our own lives, we can discern at a micro level what things are good. And I'll give you one little example. I could give you a lot of examples. For me, if I get off my backside in the afternoon and go exercise, and typically when I exercise, I, I, I do a rosary walk or whatever, I feel so good typically during and after and into the evening. It's, it bears good fruit in my life. And this is at a very kind of micro level. And in each of our lives, we need to be paying attention to the things that make us feel, feel good spiritually in, in the proper sense and, um, and, and kind of recognize how so often, and it's, it's, it's a bit of a principle in the spiritual life, so often we don't feel like doing these things. There's resistance. It's a little hard. You know, there's so many things in our life we, we know, and it's, again, it's basic wisdom. We know it doesn't feel good to do these things initially, but when we do them, there is so much good fruit. We feel so good, and we, we just have to be persistent and so, so determined to keep doing those good things because they bear fruit in our lives. And there's other things, of course, that are really easy to do, maybe pleasurable or whatever, and we know, get into that, and it's just, the, the fruit is misery. Now, Paul says in Galatians 5, the, fruit of the, the fruits of the Spirit, <laughs> love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. And again, going back to my example of getting out and doing some exercise in a prayerful way, when I get out and do this, almost all of the time, it kind of fills me with more love, joy, and peace, and patience, and makes me a more kind person and good person, and helps me to be faithful and gentle and self-controlled. <laughs> you know? There it is right there. And you can say the same thing about your, your, your daily prayer time. 
you know, or, 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 or just, you know, again, doing those things, making those sacrifices that, ah, I don't feel like doing this, but I know it's the right thing to do. And I know from experience, again, it, it, if I do these things, there will be good fruit. And the basic principle is, the Lord says, who's faithful in little things will be faithful in big things. So we, we need to be, again, diligent at finding those little things in our life um, that we know bear good fruit. And I think a person who, 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 is, who is persistent at trying to do the, the right thing as much as possible, to do the duty of the moment, like they say, at a micro level, will find that at a macro level, things happen as well. And so we need to start with the little things, the hidden things, the small things. If we're faithful in those things, we'll see the fruit in the big things.